Hello, my name is Barbara and I would like to show you today our new template editor which helps you to generate templates for the template matching algorithm. When generating templates, it's really important that you use images which capture the variability in your data. So here we have two examples where we want to find trees and they look really a little bit different in the two images. So we can load uh, the first one into cognition. And we can add the second image simply by going to modify open project and adding another map. I'll call it here scene 2 and select the second image. And you can see that now we have two maps that contain the two scenes. Now we open our new template editor in the context menu up here. And we start by creating a new template using this button. All we need to do is enter a distinctive name for the template, I will call it tree. And then we can select here also a folder where our templates will get stored. And I want them to be stored just right next to our image folder in our templates folder. Now we are ready to select samples. You see that I can simply click into the image and for each sample I select a thumbnail is added here. I try to select trees that look a little bit different to capture the variability and uh, what we can do here is to see that the samples are actually larger indicated by the red frame than our trees so we need to adjust the size a little bit. Now it looks better. And we can also adjust the context. This simply says how much will be displayed around the sample. And sometimes this is really useful for judging whether a sample is correct or not. We should not forget to select also samples in the second scene. Click here. And sometimes it happens that we did not hit the center very well and because it's very important that the center is correct you can actually adjust the center later on. If targets are not, uh, if your samples are not well centered then the templates will not be optimal and look a little bit washed out. You can also, if you selected a sample that doesn't um, look correct at all, you can simply delete them again. You can also adjust the zoom to whatever works best in, in your situation. So now we are ready to generate template. And you simply go to the generate templates tab and click on generate template. Here you see the first template. Down here it gives you an indication of how well the correlation is between your template, this template and all the samples that you've selected. We can generate templates for all layers and you see in layer 2 actually we have a much higher correlation. This indicates that maybe layer 2 is the best to use and now we are going to test our template. So we wanted to select the template in layer 2. We also need to select a subregion in which we want to test. We select some region here. And now we click execute test and uh, we see that we have a very high missed target rate and that is simply because we did not set an adequate threshold. We need to lower this here. So maybe all templates, usually I start with a value similar to this, so we could also try 0.7 and then execute the test. You see that some um, of our targets have already been classified as correct and this is simply because they are very close to what we um, selected already as samples, so the software already knows they must be correct. How accurately we have to hit our um, samples is indicated by the parameter ground truth tolerance. So here we allowed three pixels if we set this to zero. That means the algorithm does, needs to find exactly the location of our target. And here it wouldn't find anything. But um, we cannot really um, define the sample center so precisely. So maybe a ground truth tolerance of two pixels here is adequate in this case. Now we can look at the unclassified items and decide whether they are correct or not. So 
So we can simply click through them one by one, or we can also use uh, multi-selection. Note that when I select an item here, I can see the correlation coefficient between this sample and our template. If I want to go even faster, maybe I decrease the zoom level here a little bit, then I can judge very fast they look all correct. You'll find more targets even if I lower down the threshold here a little bit. Let me see here we have false, false, this also looks false. And the other ones look correct. Now that we have selected so many items as correct, when we go back to the select sample tab, you'll find that they have all been added as more samples. So now we can simply regenerate the template the correlation even improved, and our template looks possibly a little bit more less noisy, simply because now we have more samples available to generate it. And when we now retest that template, we will see that a few more items get picked up, even though I did not change the threshold. When we want to um, update always the template based on new samples that have been added, we can also click the update template checkbox and then when we re-execute the test, it will include first generate a new template based on the new samples and then execute the test. We could also test uh, now in a different region. For example, we can use that region on a different map and re-execute the test and of course we get many more um, targets that we need to classify. Good. Well, now we can just regenerate the template. Okay. Um, now comes maybe the step where we would like to optimize or judge a little bit the quality of the template. So what we can do here is now we need to be sure that our ground truth is correct. Oh, uh, I missed the Okay, let's execute it again. So what I do is I go back to the select sample tab and temporarily set the size to 1. This way I can see very well where it already found samples. And now I can try to find any that have been missed so far. Maybe here and here, could also be outside, maybe here and here. This looks good. Now, when I'm confident that in my test region, I really found all potential targets, um, we can, oops, I forgot to increase the sample size, up, the template size again, up. So. Now we can see that in this case, it found, um, it missed like 15, uh, 15 samples in that region, 92 correct, and two false. So our false alarm rate is rather small, but we have a high miss target rate, so probably want to reduce the threshold here a little bit. See what we get. This one is probably, we can count it as correct too. So now our miss target rate already got down. Maybe we'll even go down further. This one is a little bit off center, but maybe now we are counted. This is false, this is false. So now we can see our false alarm rate goes up a little bit too. So maybe uh, this 0.55 is already a threshold we are happy with. And uh, we can try again now to see what happens when we use the other templates in the other layers. And then we can see that our false alarm rate goes up here also considerably. And certainly the template in layer 2 was much better, much lower error rate than the other ones. You can see here also higher error rates. 
So finally, we decided we really like our current template in layer 2. So where do I find it now? As I said before, we place them into the templates folder next to here. And here are the templates for all layers. And if we now use the template matching algorithm, we probably want to use this one. And here you find it. Okay, so I've shown you how you can use the template editor to select samples, to generate templates, and to test the template, and both to use this uh, tab to find more samples and make your templates more robust, and also how to evaluate and compare the quality of different templates. You could actually also try to change template size and see how these templates then do and optimize template size this way. Okay, I would like to thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.